Now the Target 12 investigators taking a closer look at a shakeup at the state house. State Senator Gail Golden, a Providence Democrat first elected in 2012, announced today that she is resigning her seat to take a job with the Biden administration. And we're joined now by 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi for a look at the political implications. Ted, thanks for joining us. And Good to be here. I understand there have been a, a few whispers about this for some time. I think I first saw it last night on Twitter. The wheels were really going. Yeah, Sh Shannon, the state house rumor mill never stops, and sometimes it's actually right. Gail Golden announcing they she'll become a senior advisor in the Women's Bureau of the U.S. Department of Labor. She says it fits with her longtime advocacy of expanded paid family and medical leave, including when she helped to create Rhode Island's temporary caregiver program. Now, Golden represents Senate District 3. This is one of the wealthiest and highest educated Senate districts in Rhode Island over on the east side of Providence. So the special election to replace her is sure to be high interest. And I heard from the Secretary of State's office this morning, they're still working out the dates for that special election now, but it, it should be within the coming months. And Ted, we know at least one candidate to replace Golden didn't even wait for her to resign before she started setting up her campaign. Yeah, Kim, that's right. Uh, Hillary Levy Friedman, who is president of the Rhode Island chapter of the National Organization for Women, she knew earlier this year there might be a vacancy she'd heard, so she began fundraising in case a seat opened up in the General Assembly. And she confirmed today she will seek the Democratic nomination for Golden's seat. seat. She's already raised nearly $30,000 to mount a campaign, which is a pretty big head start. But just in the last half hour, a second Democrat has jumped into this Senate race. Gina Pham, a school teacher who has the backing of the Rhode Island Political Cooperative which is a group that opposes current Senate Democratic leadership. Interesting. So looking ahead now, Ted, new developments coming up from Target 12 in your investigation into a former narcotics detective at the Fall River Police Department under scrutiny. Yeah, people might recall last month that detective Joshua Robillard was placed on unpaid leave after a large amount of undocumented drug evidence was found in his desk. Today, Tim White sat down with Bristol County District Attorney Thomas Quinn to discuss the situation and found out the number of court cases that could be affected by this has mushroomed. And now the question is whether any of those cases will get thrown out of court due to the mishandling of evidence. Tim's going to have that interview with DA Quinn coming up on 12 News at 6. We certainly look forward to seeing Tim's report. Ted, thanks for joining us. Good to be here.